All right, people, we are back. Welcome back to uh, Strings and Chill. Uh, this is day six. And we are going to do, I think I've got four more of these 62 inch strings to go. I was doing the uh, check out the inventory. Um, again, I'm remaking all these strings. These ones have no, no particular reason. But uh, since I've started making unique strings, I figure I might as well finish it off. So hello to the notification squad. You guys are of course the first ones on the board today. And it is 7.14pm. I have no idea what to do. Uh, I might be uh, eating, I don't know. It's been a 40 degree day. I've slept for most of the day. Uh, I'm dehydrated, I'm in a bad mood kind of. So I'm not exactly sure what the plan will be for the rest of the evening. But uh, I will want to uh, get a few more strings done. Perhaps two in this round. Not sure how long I'll stick around, but I might get two strings done. And then maybe something else. So let's see what is happening. Um, I am going to pick my. Oh, okay. So last night I had this this string up right. I didn't recognize what it was because the the lighting in the room made the color real weird. It's neon orange. I can't remember why I bought this. It must have been a random purchase from Lancaster Archery. Just that you know, I'm buying things. Let's add one more string color to the mix. So uh, I've never used this. And I can't use off the club bows because the club bows will probably break under the uh, fast flight strings using Dacron only. Hence my limited uh, color choices that you've been seeing for the past few days. Uh, hello to my German friends. It is minus 3 degrees in Germany and snowing. And it's really nice. It is about 42 degrees here. It's cooling down. We expect a cool change to hit about now. So we should see a big uh, shift. Uh, cold front coming past. Uh, the wind should come in. And hopefully it'll be a bit more bearable. Uh, it's really, really humid here. Um, and yeah, it's just not very nice to just do things. Yeah, kind of, you don't want to eat, you don't want to like get out there. Um, you don't want to really, really do anything. But at the same time, I get really um, frustrated when I don't do things. So uh, my, my little project right now is to get this done. One of the, the toughest things is when, when you um like you do it's it's nice to have days where you do nothing right that that's the whole point having rest days but then you have like when you do nothing for too long you know I, for me i get really anxious like i feel like i'm wasting my time like if you is that like the, one of the biggest habits i want to get out of is gaming like i think gaming is good but like you know as a kid i used to like play computer games every day and I still do, right? That's a normal part of my life. But it was kind of like the same thing when you play like League of Legends or CS. You play hours at a time. That's all you would do. And as I grew older, I started to kind of get my head around things and go, well, you know, who cares if I've done 100% on Assassin's Creed? Who cares if, I, uh, if I'm if uh, i high-ranking you know, CS? Because these things aren't going to get me in a way in life. They're entertainment, they're recreation, they're things you do for fun. But they have very little value in real life. So I, I wanted to be more focused on getting something done that is worth my time. Something that has something to show for my hard work and my dedication. So things like archery work out well because you know you work well, you work hard, you, you end up getting more tone, kind of like muscle um, shape to your shoulders and your arms look good. You get a nice tan for being outside and you feel healthy, like you feel balanced inside and outside. Uh, whereas when you um, spend all the time gaming, you, know, you might have these gaming gaming achievements, but um, you start you know like you know, what's what's it to show for it in the end? So and I respect people who play games and enjoy it, and of course those who do it as a job, professional gamers, they need a handful of you. But yeah, I I, I get I get frustrated when I do something and there's no result, there's no progress. So that's my little rant there to begin with. Uh, we've got a small crowd today. Um, I guess this is not the best time. Hey, uh, Italy, uh, buongiorno to uh, Francesco, welcome to the stream. Um, yeah, it is uh, something which uh, I, I, I want to have something to focus on uh, each time. So uh, my thing to do for today is to make a couple of strings. Uh, so let's start by thinking of what color to do. Uh, we can do a one color string or a two color string. Last night I had a pretty bad time with two color string. It, no, you know, with, it's four degree heat. You know, your hands are sweating and you know, and, and, and greasy, and I just, I just couldn't focus on getting two color string done. So we made one. Oh, by the way, since we're at it, um, we have uh, our two color string. We have bubble gum, 
Um, that was last night's uh, creation. So we had bubble gum. Sorry, this is toothpaste. Bubble gum is this one. This is bubble gum. The uh, blue and pink is bubble gum. We have ninja, which is the black and blue. Uh, we have toothpaste, which is the uh, blue, white, and red. And we have Aztec, which is the green and brown. So those were the 62 inch strings that we made. Uh, and of course, we have a bunch more from the uh, previous streams, which uh, were no, well, the 66 inch ones. Hello to uh, Mark uh, Beartack from Sweden. Uh, do I do Flemish strings? No, I don't. I don't have a Flemish uh, twist jig. And uh, none of my, 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 my own bows do have um, Flemish uh, strings, one of them does, uh, two of them do, but I personally don't use uh, Flemish, I use endless loop. So all my strings are endless. Again, these are for the club, not for um, sale. I think someone asked on my um, stream last time, am I selling these? No, these are club strings. Uh, I think in the future, uh, I might be thinking about doing a charity stream, uh, but I am not actually selling these for at the moment. So, uh, let's pick our colour. There's around a dozen of us in the chat. Let's vote for a colour. Um, so, uh, let's pick um, a colour. Let, let's do a single colour string to warm up, and then we might do a two colour string. So, which one of these five colours should we start with? So, we have this black as well. It should be six. Where, where do we keep checking my black one? That's not the black one. I keep putting the black one somewhere, right? Um, there, there's black there. Where'd you go? <laughs> I always lose the black one. So we've got blue, brown, yellow. Oh, sorry, blue, brown, white, pink, green, and black. Here it is. I keep throwing it this way. So let's pick our color. What color should we start with? So of those six choices, which really isn't a big choice, but um, this is all my Dacron collection. Again, my. Uh, Fast white things, actually 8 on 25 G, I've got this whole box of uh, colours to choose from, so if I'm making a, an actual recurve string for the competitive bows, I've got a lot to choose from. For, for the club bows, I've got these simple colours, which cost around 20 bucks each. Uh, let's do one colour first, we might do a, a two colour one next, because that takes a bit more like mental power to kind of focus. Because I was so like upset last night, because the, um, the toothpaste one, um, it was too loose and the tension was too light and we became like an inch too long and it was just terrible It, was, it wasn't a good one um, Two color strings are too much work for a club bow, but we'll do one if you want to do that I think blue is winning out here. So blue it is my most expensive bow would probably be my uh, win, uh, win and win in CXT, the one I use right now uh, That's my competition one so all up all the, all the components cost around like two and a half grand plus the arrows are like a thousand more or something um, Made up. All right, so blue will be the color. What will be the serving? What will be the serving? And I've got blue. You could do blue on blue. That's a possibility. Uh, we have green. I haven't, made, I haven't made a blue and green yet, have I? No, I haven't. I've made a green one. I haven't made a blue one. We've got yellow. So we, we could make a Sweden one. We've got pink. Uh, we've made blue and pink already, so we're not going to do pink. We've got purple, white, got some light, white left over. There's not much there though, but there should be enough for the string. I've got black, I've got red. So let's pick our serving color and pink. I've got the dark pink already. Is there a way to make yellow and purple? I don't have a yellow string or a purple string. I've, I've got plenty of those for the 8 on 5G, but not for Dacron. So let's have a, a vote. So which of these servings should we use for our blue string? A couple of yellow votes. So let, let, let's knock out undesirable ones. So it seems red is out of question. I've already answered your question, Vix. My win and win in OCXT. I don't own a lot of bows. I get I get sent bows, but most expensive ones are win and win in a CX team. And I don't do a Spider Man. I mean, that'd be fun to do. You know, people do ask for it, right? Like, should, should I just do, like randomly Spider Man? I just call it Spider Man. Because people always ask for it. So that's the combination, red and blue.
Yellow's popular. Uh, but it seems red's gonna win out. Should we do? Should we do red and blue Spider Man? Uh, I'm I'm not too familiar with the burger test, Sebastian. So I I don't I don't really do a lot of plunger tuning. Seems red's gonna win. Should we do it? Red and blue Spider Man. Um, at some point, yeah, la, uh, lo, 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 G now. I, I will eventually, um, do a, a whole gallery of this. It's on, it's on my Facebook page right now, but I haven't done the whole thing yet. Alright, we'll do, we'll do, we'll start with, uh, the blue string. We'll probably do a red, a blue and red. I'm calling it Spider-Man. Because people, people keep asking for it. We should make like superhero themed strings. We should have like you know red and yellow Iron Man, um, uh, blue and blue and red Spider Man. We have like black and yellow, like like full on black string of yellow serving. Like Batman. Oh, we could do that. We're gonna have like black with uh, black end loops and a yellow center loop with uh, a center serving with uh, black knocking points. We call it Batman. Because who would not want a Batman string? That would be exceptionally cool. And copyright infringement. How about that? How, how about we'll make a 62 inch Spider Man string and a 62 inch Batman string today? Why the one color strings are so easy to do? Oh man, that they you know, count strands and do stuff. Just pass it around six times. And that was our fifth pass. One more. Man, two color. I mean, two color strings are nice, but it's got to concentrate more. And when you're like, you know, autopiloting on four degree days, just want to do this. And I think about getting the. Uh, things right. I mean they, they turn out well, the, uh, the dual color ones, but uh, not always the nicest thing to work on when you're fatigued. Alright, let's get this cut up. I should not put my uh, spools of thread here. I throw them away. Okay, that was worth it. I can't put them here because I keep uh, pushing back up for the uh, stream to check. I keep forgetting to. Um, White. That's why I keep using the black one. That's going to drop in over now. So let's begin our end loop. I'm on the wrong side. That's going to shrink inside. There we go. That's fixed. That's a little loose for my life. That'll be fine for the first loop. Let's begin that. Just put a small loop first. Now, I, I have a habit of making loops a little too small. Uh, I was testing on my Sanic Polaris before, and the loop is just... <laughs> it's, um, I mean, one loop's okay, but the big loop is too small. So I'm going to make sure my big loop's actually big. It'll look nice, but uh, damn, I'm really bad at gauging loop sizes. I mean, it shouldn't be that hard to put on. I mean, once you put it on, these, these are club bows, so we're not going to take the strings off. 
The other ones are a little too stingy on uh, loop sizes. Now we're looking for the Spider-Man string. We'll put um once we get the knocking point done, we'll put black knocking points. Alright, so the small loop's gonna be quite small, that's completely fine. Color separation, just got a one color string. Yeah, how about I, I make a new string for my phantom bow? Make, make it call it Batman, let's just, just, just rename it. <laughs> Make, make a black and yellow string for the Phantom. Is that Batman? Very good. Swap sides. Very good. So I'm name flash before. What, what are people saying? Different camera angle? Uh, what, what angle are you thinking of? How's the club going? Club's still close. I mean, we'll be close for the summer. And because we haven't done we have the bows yet, we can't run anyway, so... Uh, nothing beyond it. Yeah, what, what, what kind of angle are you thinking of? You can change angle. I mean, I've got my webcam plugged in, so if you want a different angle, it's not a problem. But uh, what, what angle do you want? And uh, what I might do, I might switch the uh, chat window over. I'm the serving. Really? Uh, I guess we can do that. Uh, I'll try. Let's see if we can do this. I'm gonna put a long cable here. So I'm gonna bang the, um, the camera a few times. How's that? Maybe the wardrobe there. Not too close. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Let me see what that'll have to me. There we go. That, that, that'll do. 
Alright. So we'll serve them here. This will be the big loop. So I'm actually going to make sure I make a big loop this time rather than a, a slightly less small, small loop. That's a, that's, a, that's a pretty good angle, actually. What do you think, guys? That's a nice angle. I'm not sure if I do this here the time, but um, since we're doing a lot of these streams, I might as well do a few of these. Make it uh, different and exciting. So all is going to make things exciting. I mean, you don't see me, but yeah, that, that's probably a good thing. All right. The hammer covered half the thing, but uh, you probably see the uh, spinning in action. I might flip the angle so you see actually the right side next time. Turn that around, turn it very nicely there. Okay, so it makes up a nice, generous big loop. Back when I filmed my how to video, um, the, the hard, tough thing was the angles because the, the hands are always been in the way. Yeah, it's fine. It's a slight gap, but at least I don't know which one's the, uh, the top loop. Very big top loop. This might not always do small. String, nice opening string for the string. Beautiful people. Very nice. That turned out nice. You can see that thing. You can see the glare from the um, the other thing as well. Uh, James, do I have an indoor range for winter training? Uh, I don't. I personally don't. I do have one I can reach, but I personally don't have one. Professional job. Thank you, Igor. I think I think we like the angle. Nice. I'm gonna switch the camera back around to the front side because we'll see the uh, the epic spinning work in action. Sorry, I'm gonna move the camera again. All right. So uh, I'll be starting the center serving. It's right there. So uh, it is I to G. Start off. A few loops going. When I say I to J, I'm talking about the uh, the lettering on my uh, jig. Does I have no measurements? I've got letters, and I've got a logo here, which is string jig. So I, if I look at the length of the uh, words, I can tell the length of the serving. Okay. Now, I want to do this a little different. I'm going to find something first. Do you ever train at 18 meters? I actually don't. Um, because we, I don't have an 18 meter range. Um, I have to go to... Um, like I, I, have, I have to um, actually go to a different range to train. And so I don't have a native uh, 18 meter range. So I'm actually not very well uh, prepared for uh, indoor. Um, how am I coping the heat? I slept the most of the day. And I'm just in time for the cool change. Um, like, you know, after you have two hot days in a row, you become slightly acclimatized. It's still bothersome, but as long as you hydrate, it should be okay. 
So I'm in a slightly better mood, but it's kind of really snug and sticky. Now I'm gonna do something a little different. Now just while I'm uh, getting the ready to do the final part, I, I, I mentioned I tried this. If you're just tuning back in, uh, I accidentally pushed the Wi-Fi button on my laptop, so uh, I obviously lost the uh, connection there. So uh, I was just saying um, before that I am going to start the center serving and finish it off, but I wanted to uh, turn something. Um, it happened last night. It was a it was a thing. I don't know what happened last night, but I accidentally um, pushed the Wi-Fi button. But what I wanted to do was to make a meme. We're making strings, but you know, like if, if we're gonna do this every day, we need the right working music, right? So this is my idea. Once I get my internet working, why isn't it working for me here? Because I turn it off. So what am I trying to do? I actually don't know. YouTube works for me here. I don't know how like on my feed I've got like live now. Thanks for the thanks thanks for letting me know YouTube. I know YouTube works. But having said that, <laughs> uh, I don't think they uh, really like that. <laughs> don't do my internet from uh, Ethernet uh, twisted pairs. Yeah, that's a pretty good idea. All right, let's try to open something. Cause I feel like the only way to properly. Uh, properly do this is with an appropriate uh, background video or song. <laughs> do I have any <laughs> sound happening? Let me double check my sound settings. I don't want to play music when I'm doing this. Uh, playback devices, whoops. Playback. It's funny how the, 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 um, like the, the computers I use automatically default my microphone as the uh, playback device which makes no sense so I've got like several windows open right now it's not working for me <laughs> the Lord of the Strings, hello Mr. High Vault um, alright back to this incoming copyright infringement but it is only proper that we have a jig spin. <laughs> and that's uh, a jig spin. Alright, that, that should get me like a thousand likes, right? Come on guys, tell me out here. <laughs> I reckon every time we do a stream we do that, right? We should make a leak string. We got white or green. I reckon <laughs> we, we do white serving for the center and the uh, the middle, and um, we do green for the top. How about that? A leak string.
course, I only play the polka when we're uh, when we're spinning, right? We can't we can't like do jig spin without actually spinning. It's my knife. Okay, I can put my knife down. I can feel where there it is. Get too carried away with the polka. <laughs> <laughs> it's a shame that like twenty of you are here like listening to it because that was one of the best spins. I'm sure like the the hundred people like watching afterwards will uh whoops fans in the way so I nearly broke the whole string there. <laughs> but that was fun, wasn't it? That's working music. All right, uh, I need to wax it. And uh, being a forty freaking degree, I need to wax it like melted. Yeah. Makes it easy to put on. The blue strands tend to be a little loose, so I'm going to add a twist to it preemptively. This is not needed for a normal string. This is no colours to uh, put in, but I uh, just want to make sure that the strands stay together. Yeah, that's a really big sticky stick of wax. Doesn't feel nice. But it makes it easy to pin it, so... Now, I'm going to go through this... Um, Ocean wax in like a day or a week. These will normally last a while, but when when they get really soft, like they come, there's excessive amount to come off. So normally it's a little tougher, but in this heat, it's uh, unpleasant. Doing colors for uh, league champions. Well, we have like purple and yellow for cannon. So, uh, first string of the night done. The host league? No, I haven't played league since uh, season 2. I played in beta, I played season 1, and I only revisited in uh, season 2, but I haven't played since. This is our first string for the night. It is blue and red. Now, the original name for this was Spider-Man. Is that going to be the name? Alright, I'm going with Spider-Man here. I'm going to touch down, down this corner now, but um, yeah, what do you think? Spider-Man? I'll move it over. So I'm standing down now. So, will this string it be Spider-Man? I haven't played Heroes of the Storm. I know, like, I, 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 I fell out of uh, MOBA games uh, you know, after a long uh, hiatus, a hiatus. Uh, it looks alright. I, I, I only just started playing um, StarCraft 2 again recently, just to get the story. So I never finished um, the campaign. I played through Wings of Liberty, and uh, I just finished uh, the campaign. I'm playing through the um, COVID Ops missions right now, but I haven't played Heroes of the Storm. Sounds geeky. Well, you're doing archery, so uh, shouldn't be too surprising. Gotta give respect to the geekdom. Uh, did I press again? I think the, uh, there's a um, solar flare or something, I don't know. Uh, so, so the stream is uh, chopped off there, but uh, 
wasn't me. So, that's the string. Uh, we're calling this Spider Man. Type yes for Spider Man. I think Spider-Man gets it. So now we have a Spider-Man string. Everyone's been asking for a Spider-Man string, so that is our Spider-Man string. Just like nice little knot here. And we have completed our first string for the stream. So there we go. That is Spider-Man. I'm gonna check my window for a moment, see if the chord changes hit. I think it has. Yes, it does. Now I should be outside doing some training, I reckon. So it should be a live stream uh, training session. Because <sighs> it's, it's so much cooler outside than inside right now. But uh, that means I have to figure a way to um, set the thing up. <laughs> Obviously, no, no power outside. I mean, the, the, the battery will last. The webcam will be fine. I'm not sure the Wi Fi signal will go that far, though. My favorite distance, uh, I normally shoot 30 meters for practice and form. Not for scoring, but just for form practice, 30 meters. Alright, let, let's pick a new string. I I wanna make I wanna make a leak string. So it'll be it'll be white with white serving and a green top serving. Um, I'm so unhappy that there are only 20 people watching this because I think the leak string will be the absolute best So I'm, I'm gonna set it up. This, 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 this is not gonna be a vote. I'm making it a leak string uh, Robin do I like modern day or traditional shooting more? I like I like traditional more to be honest It's kind of like why I did Irish in the first place. I mean I obviously shoot competitively in modern uh, But I do like traditional more there's, there's more history to it, there's more substance to it in my opinion. It's, it's like you, you, you connect to a lot more. So let's get my... I've got two jigs for this, I'm not going to worry too much about swapping next time. I actually have three, I got a can't find a biter one. So that's a really, really good one. Now it is cool outside. That's so pleasant. I haven't shot for, for a few days because it has been too warm. But if people want to join me. The most fun but to use is my um, Asian bow because it's only twenty pound and shit thumb draw. Absolutely fun to use. Uh, the bear takedown is also very good too. Really love shooting that. Because it's like 45 ish pounds. Has good punch to it, feels good, very smooth to draw. And of course, a nice backstory to it. That was Grizzly Jim's bow, which I uh, acquired. That, that helped send him to the World Championships in Robillon last year. I mean, it, it sucks for him because, uh, you know, obviously he had to give away his uh, favorite bow. But uh, it's a win for me. <laughs> I, I have his bow. I, lo I love taunting Jim with it, like, you know, on streams. He enjoys the streams every now and then, when, when he's like, making strings. Not now, I think it's too early up in um uh, in the UK. But, I should, I should, I should do it next time. I, re I reckon we should surprise Jim next time. I reckon we'll, um, I'll pop up with his shirt and his, uh, his bow. <laughs> and just make strings. Is it foggy? Uh, it's probably just the, uh, the the glare from the light. Uh, I think the, oh, the lens is a little smudge, but it should be okay. It's more the glare. That wasn't me, by the way. I 
father has um, window shattering sneezes. Nine AM in the UK, that's cool. It's really good timing. And just began traditional shooting. I think yeah, it's way more enjoyable. Yeah. Strong with aiming. Uh, depends on your style. I mean, if you want to shoot instinctive, which is the most natural style, then it's mostly by feel. Just kind of get a get a I mean, mentally know what your sight picture looks like when you look at the target. Like where is the arrow? Where is the bow? And try to repeat that each time. And the first few times will be conscious, but afterwards we'll start being subconscious. Uh, otherwise, you can choose to uh, use a bare bone method like uh, string walking, which I don't do. I only shoot um, instinctive. But you, you can shoot gap as well. So look up gap shooting or string walking and see which one's too good for. Now, for those that show you me, I am making the leak. We've got nearly 30 people, that's not bad. All right. Have you seen or used white arrows, as in like white colored shafts? You won't find them. Closest might be might come from a white wood or paint or silver aluminium, but you won't find white. I know people like being aesthetic, but uh, white arrows is ridiculous. So this is the next string. This is the the leak string. I I, I need to remember to do the leak colors. I normally forget halfway through. Okay, so let's do leak string. And our last pass, a tall strand string. So this will be a white bottom, white middle, and green top. We'll start with the bottom serving. Hi uh, Raymond. Thank you for the thank yous, I guess. <laughs> Give a like, leak, leak's alright. Have you tried to make interesting color combos for arrow fletching? It's not really. Um, I mean, you either use all one color, or you have like one odd color. The thing is, especially, I, I use um, spin wings, and uh, each uh, color is actually weighs slightly differently. So you actually don't want to mix the colors up too much. It's actually not desirable. So I best just use one color. Easy to replace as well. Okay, because this is the, the leak string, I think it's only appropriate that um, every uh, 
every spin we do is accompanied by the appropriate music. So, ouch. I'm gonna firstly, let's change the camera angle so you can see the spinning in action. perfect view of the spinning in action and of course for those who are joining me we are starting our meme train so let's do it I mean, it's still pretty annoying after a while, but uh, for now, it's fun. It's <laughs> distracting there, I can't, I can't do this properly. <laughs> Good. Oh, I'm gonna put it on pause. I'm gonna put it on pause. That was very meta, by the way. You can see myself streaming in the background, too. Alright. How is chat responding? Are we, are we uh, uns unsubscribing yet? <laughs> What was the link there? Was that link spin? I, I need a script to play when, when I start spinning this. Uh, I'll leave it off for now. I'll come back to it later when we finish. Very nice bottom serving, good length, good size. Bird nice. Excellent. How's chat responding? Uh, I found a D2, it's in a Diablo 2. Uh, I don't think I mentioned I was a fan of D2. I have played it, but uh, I don't ever mention it.
Oh dear, I gotta hold and close my microphone. What am I doing? What the heck? There we go. Sorry. Pick up in a moment. Priorities first. Ugh. I'm sorry, guys. You're right. You're right there. Anything broken? <laughs> that was bound to happen. All right. Back to the action. Oh. Dang, you guys are a little dizzy there. You were kind of dropped on your head. Alright, try to put up. I'll, uh, I'll put you here instead. Man, these, these tripods are really cheap. They work, actually. A little far away though. You know, I'll, I'll put it back in the same spot. Just to uh, save the effort. <laughs> oh, this is bruised. Okay, that, that should work. Alright. Oops. Bring it back up there. Alright. <laughs> Alright, let's get back down. Okay, that was fun. That, that was an adventure. Alright, we're back to normal. <laughs> Okay, so uh, for this uh, top string, you're just be doing a leak string. You're gonna have to use a uh, green for this one. <laughs> so let's uh, let's get our uh, our soundtrack back up. I'm gonna put the thing back up first. That was an adventure, wasn't it? Anything faster than this, really. It's about rhythm, not speed. They have archery, too, right? Rhythm, not speed. And we'll turn that. Nope, too soon. Oops, uh, a few more turns. Alright, then we turn it. Turn it perfectly there. And this is the top of our leg string.
finally the middle, which will be white. Any book recommendations for archery? Depends on what kind of archery you're talking about. Yeah, Mr. Hyver got it right there. Ty Holy Basil? I've got no idea. Be loose, be okay. All right, so we'll start this off with our final serving. And one more time for the live stream. Let us enjoy, perhaps for the last time, our favorite song that will be stuck in your head. And that's how you make a string. Any questions? <laughs> that's right. To, to, to make a string, you need to have a uh, Lotuma in the background. <laughs> the official <laughs> make the official style of Olympic Games. <laughs> oh my goodness. Let, let, let's finish the uh, let's finish the whacking job, and then we're done. Shame how the the flame sears the white, but that'd be alright. I'll just remember to up. Now this was turned slightly blue unfortunately, but shouldn't be too bad. It'll be a, a blue leak. God, that wax is so soft in this heat. Alright, I'm not going to put too much on then. And there we have it. Put the bikes in the fridge would be a bad idea. It's gonna look right now though. So I'm not asking for names guys. This is simply the leak string. <laughs> Why did I make it? I have absolutely no idea. 
I don't know why I thought this was a good idea. But now we have a white string with white serving with one green top in loop. And that, my friends, is the league spin. I should say the league string. string. So for the sake of the viewers out there, especially those who aren't joining us right now, I can't, I can't spin a string. <laughs> how, do I, how do I spin a string? <laughs> what the? Oh, I'll, I'll try hard. I'll try really hard. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. That is our leak string. I have no idea who will use it, but we now have a leak string at the club. There we go. Alright, we can stop it now. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> uh, cool greeting from Germany, Michael. Hopefully you caught the most exciting part of the stream there. Tired up, I reckon we'll call it for the, uh, the afternoon. It's a one hour stream, nice short one. Probably not the optimal time for everybody, but uh, glad for those who can join me. I reckon a Batman string is next in the books. And we're gonna have the coolest club strings. We've gone from ugly to awesome to just damn cool. Alright, once I'm done with this, I reckon we'll pack it up. So, uh, we'll look at the last call for questions. Comments. I reckon I've got around like two or three or more to make. I've, I've lost count completely. Guys, help me, right? We, we need a separate song for every spin we do. Spin me round is not, not, not a bad one. <laughs> so give me spinning songs. <laughs> and we'll do it next time. Okay, last call. Leak and bow in Russian are the same words. Really? Really? You put my leg there, Igor? Hey, do, I, do I trust you on this? Because if they are, that would be a, a very good theme we have going on. They are! Wow, that is cool! I did, wow! So you're right, Le leak and bow are the same word in Russian. The question is why? <laughs> Look! <laughs> oh, oh wow! I've learned something. Look! Look, is that right? Look! So look is well onion or leek and it's bow. So why is that why are they the same word? <laughs> uh, right round for flow rider. <laughs> uh, how can you tell the thickness of gloves when buying? You can't really tell. If they don't tell you in the description, then there's nowhere to tell. Yeah, same Bulgarian, yeah, in Slavic language, I imagine it'd be the same, so onion, yeah. So, so if, if I'm using, if, I, if I'm eating a look, I'm obviously not eating a bow. <laughs> that, is, that is so cool, we'll, we'll call it look, <laughs> the, the bug look. <laughs> what is that, onion strings? <laughs> Oh my goodness, that, that, that is the coolest thing I've learned in this stream so far, is that <laughs> the word for bow and onion in Russian is the same. <laughs> Thank you, Eagle. 
that 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 was a, a good bit of knowledge. My goodness. All right, we are losing light. I always tell light on, but I reckon a one hour stream today is all right. The uh, the temperature outside is getting really nice and cool now. Not sure what I'll do afterwards. Could go outside do some shooting because it is now much more comfortable outside than inside. I don't think I'll stream tonight because that's a bit too much. I reckon we've got a nice little collection going on here. So I think we're done. Uh, thank you for joining me again. This is number six in the stream and chill. And we have definitely done a lot of chilling and a lot of spinning. And I hope you enjoy the rest of your day wherever you are. This is New Sensei. And uh, I will see you all next time. Whee!